I am so discouraged. I have some fun stuff I'm doing right now. Uh, I got a bunch of decor, or at least some decor. Went to Hobby Lobby, I found these little hooks, which I really like. If you can see that. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. I'm putting some hooks up here, and then some greenery. I'd seen someone else had done something similar to this. I thought it was so cute. And I'm just gonna hang this up there. Hopefully that won't be too annoying when we drive. I think I can just flip it up and tuck it in, if it is. sure what kind of style I'm going for in here I like too much stuff so I wanted the more minimalistic look the white with the yeah just basic and simple but yeah I'm one that likes a lot of color as well and so I also wanted to kind of incorporate sort of an adventure type theme which is why I did the table and then when I did bring the table in, I wasn't quite sure if I liked it in here but we're rolling with it I found these I thought these were so cute at Hobby Lobby one says happy camper and the other one says home is where you park it. So I'm going to stick one up here. I think it's so cute. And the other one is going to go above the fridge right here. Ta-da! <laughs> this is so fun. So I'm just going to put Velcro on the back. Velcro. I think that'll work best. Let me see real quick. That looks about right. and I wasn't, but I got this one hung. Ta-da! You like it, Bubba? No, I don't want you to dump them, Bubba. Here, put, that, put this one on the hole. Like this. It's a towel rack and I was able to find one that fits right above this window. It's the nice thing about Amazon, you don't have to walk all over stores trying to measure. You can just find your measurements. Once again, I'll have links below if you're interested in that. So I'm going to hang this over the window so that we have a place to, hang, to um, put our towels. Like, All right. There we have it. When I saw this shower curtain, I'm like, this is so cute. It's kind of simple, yet has an adventure kind of feel to it. Really cool. I'll have links below. Make sure to check it out if you want one. One thing I really like about the shower curtain, it's made specifically for an RV. Most shower curtains, even for RVs, are a lot longer and kind of drag on the floor. They specifically made this one shorter, so it doesn't do that, and I really like that. Um, I'm still not sure if I like it hanging over the outside of the tub or hanging on the inside. I kind of think I like it on the inside better. It makes the bathroom feel more open and not quite so closed. Um, the only thing I hate is the bathtub has like a little bench to sit on and yeah. so the shower curtain doesn't hang quite straight so you don't, yeah, it buckles a little bit, but oh well. Guys! A couple more decorations yet. I changed my mind a little bit about the bathroom shower curtain. I had really been hunting and searching for a shower curtain rod that screws into the ceiling or the walls and I could find nothing. So I just went for like a tension rod, like a $3 tension rod. I don't really care for it. It doesn't feel like it's tightening like it should. And then I ran across this. It was exactly what I wanted, a pipe looking shower curtain rod that screws into the ceiling. And it's fake, it's not real so it's not heavy. And it's only like $11 on Amazon. So links below if you're interested in it. It's adjustable in length. And um, I'm gonna hang it up now and I'll show you when I'm finished. Done, and I like this ever so much better 
Uh, one of the other reasons I want one that's actually screwed in is because it'll allow us to hang up clothes on it as well. Like if I want to hang up some dresses or something actually on that rod, it'll have a dual purpose. So that'll be much nicer. Not bad for $11. Now another piece of decor that I found at TJ Maxx, I believe, is this. It's a sign where you like put letters in. I really, really like it. So we're going to hang it up and we'll try to figure out what to put in for now for the letters. See how it goes. All right, I have uh, Velcro strips on the back here, and I think I'm just gonna try doing this by eye for the most part. All right, check out what I found at TJ Maxx. I have no idea what it is, but I think it's cute. I think it looks like something that should go in the kitchen. It has leather. It looks sort of like a cutting board with a leather pocket. <laughs> anyway, I thought, well, that's kind of a unique decoration. I could hang in the kitchen and possibly put some utensils in or something. I'm gonna hang it right here. Won't this be so cute? Hopefully it won't be too close here for getting smoked up, but. drawing. Ha ha! Isn't that cute? I found just a couple different pictures on the internet and uh, I kind of put them together to make one picture. Anyway, but I'm just not quite digging this. It's just too busy and I'm not sure what the word is. Just kind of ugh. There's just too much going on here. So I'm gonna try something that's making me a little bit nervous. See what kind of paint I have. I think I have some gray chalk paint. It's a little different color than this. I'm really gonna water it down and take a paintbrush and go around the outside edges and see if we can kind of fade it out a bit so it's not so pronounced. But I'm, I'm a little bit worried because <laughs> it's nice, but it's, I just don't quite like it. It's just not what I was, yeah. I don't know. So we're just gonna try something else. This looks a whole lot better. Um, I definitely like it way more. Kind of took that edge off. I'm not sure what to call it, but. I feel like it tied things together a little bit better. I guess I like it. I'm trying to decide. All right, I've been kind of working at this table off and on, putting paint on, sanding things off, messing up, painting, sanding. This is the kind of what I've come up with. Um, I'll show it to you in a bit. Tried to add an artistic touch. I'm not sure how artistic it was, but now I'm going to put um, Shelac Shelac on the top for protective finish. So next, that's the last step. What? Oh no, that's not going to work. It's smearing things. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. 
Did I ever mess this up? Oh, it makes me so angry. I spent so much time on this table. And I finally kind of liked it at the end and I was gonna put lacquer on it and the lacquer just smeared all the paint on the top. Look at this. I should have just left it like that one and said, I don't know what I was thinking. This is just, did you bump your head? I am back with this messed up awful table. Um, what I decided I'm going to do is put the same laminate peel and stick on top like that wood one. And Nolan had pointed out to me that he didn't really like the edge of this. Um, some of it had cracked off and it wasn't real whatever. He said it's cheap to put new stuff on. So I tore the old stuff off right here and I have like a iron on wood veneer I guess. So I'm gonna iron on the edges, stain that. Hopefully it won't be too different. It will be, it'll be darker than the top. Here, let's see. Bubba don't touch. Come over here, Bubba. Come help Mom. Xander. Xander, get away. Now, you help Mommy. Watch. I have the sides trimmed and sanded, and I re ironed a lot of it to make sure it's really firm or really sealed on. And now I'm going to try putting some of this gel min wax on because it's just what I have on hand. Gel stain and just see how it turns out for just for the sides here. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out, but I'm trying to decide if I want to do another coat or not. I'm ready to put this stuff onto the table. Here it's just a couple inches too short. So I'm gonna have to do two pieces. Hopefully it looks okay. Let's try it. I'm super happy with how well uh, the stain that I did matches with this. It's way better than I expected. So I'll show you guys here when I'm finished trimming. Love it. Now I gotta show you how the edges match. You wouldn't even know that that's two different pieces. They match so well, I cannot believe this. Look at that, the edge and then this part. Whoa! Well, at least a bad thing turned into a blessing. I actually probably am going to like this better. It's much more simplistic, matches the rest of the camper, fits in has more of an elegant touch instead of sort of a homemade bleh. So I'm actually glad it ended up like this. Stupid me, I should have researched before I put this top paper on. I really do need a top coat on this gel finish or it's going to rub off. So I'm hoping I can do that without messing this up. Maybe I'll try spraying and then wiping this. This seems like it would wipe off very easily. Anyway, we'll see what we can do. All right, let's put this table into the RV. Get my painted legs here, and I'll head on into the camper. Oh. <laughs> he already knows what we're supposed to be doing here. Oh. Uh. Did you get it in? Good job, Bubba. You gonna put the other one in? Okay, you put the other one in. Mommy, I'll go get the, the table.
This is so nice. I'm actually really glad the first oh, try did not line up because it just goes so much nicer with everything else as far as decor, so. Yay, getting there. And this will be Xander's little bed when we're not eating here, so yeah. Excuse the horn, my son's playing out here. So the next thing that I want to do is, it was kind of my dream from the get-go to have string lights up over the bed, so. I ordered these from Amazon. Um, links below if you're interested. <laughs> uh, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to go about this. Um, we'll see how long they are. I was thinking of possibly running a cord from that end all the way over to this end. So we'll see how it goes. And I bought these at Walmart. They're just like little staple holder thingies that can hold up the cords. Look, Bubba. Oh, your pants are stuck. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Okay, that was frustrating. Oh, those little nails would not go in. So I have it strung up from all the way here, this is like doubled up how many times. I have it strung up the whole way around here. Now one of my worries with this is that, that might rattle and be really annoying. And if that's the case, I might have to tighten it a little bit more. But yeah, now moment of truth. I actually had to cut the end because it was so long. Oh, by the way, I went underneath the kitchen as well. Let's see if they work. All right, see if it works. No! Oh no. I'm gonna mess with this a little bit and I'll be back. Oh, why did I cut those lights? I called Nolan and he thought you could because he had done it to another kind and it worked fine. This won't work now. And I tried crimping off the ends and doing various things and just the first couple light up to a ma minor flicker and that's it. Now I strung up all these lights. It took forever to string them all up. I made holes in the walls. Now I'm going to have to tear those back out, I guess. Put new ones in. Oh man. So guys! My, I was giving up on this light situation. I'm like, it's completely, I need to order another set. And my father stopped by and he figured it out. So guys, I have lights. I am trying to decide if I like them strung up the whole way around. I really just had one of them over the bed area. And I like how that looks. I'm trying to decide if it looks a little overdone. I especially don't really care for that. So, Maybe I should just cut them off there. I am so discouraged. Ah. I found two water leaks. Here. This is bubbling. It's definitely a water leak. And back there I saw a bubble and I went and touched it. And it just punctured in. Oh, I tell you what. I don't even know what to do. I looked all over on the outside. I thought everything was sealed just tight and I have no idea where it's leaking especially the front you realize if there's a water leak it destroys these things and I don't know where this water leaks coming from I tell you what oh and there's another one you have got to be kidding me I have never been this discouraged. Oh, right at the end. See, we were gone on a trip and we parked it at a shop while they were working at the bumper. They had some insanely hard rainstorms, which didn't help much, but I don't get it. So the first little leak is right here. And once it dries out, it'll be fine. If we can fix it, that's fine. There's another leak at the bottom of that window. And I cannot figure out where it is. I looked and 
the window seems tight unless the window itself is leaking. And then that front one has me completely baffled. We sealed, like I took that, I never showed you guys, but that front window, I actually took it to an RV place and they sealed the outside completely so that the front window isn't leaking. So I don't think the window itself is leaking and we really sealed the window off. Um, it doesn't really seem like it's from the window because it's in the corner. So I'm really hoping that I can take it to this RV place. He does RV repairs and that he can find it for me because I'm just done. Just done. Why? 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 Ah. We are headed into town. I need to get some paint for the camper, just for touch up stuff. I ran out of paint and I need to get some more because now we have this water damage, so there's gonna be more repair work, obviously. Huh, and this one's just stressing me out. I'm like, this is just so stupid. I was sick on my gut because of, you know, the money we invested into this and suddenly, you know, it looks like such a big, overwhelming thing. But I got to thinking, I'm like, you know what? Is this really worth stressing over? Yes, it's super discouraging. But in the grand scheme of life, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It's just a camper. And if we can't go camping, and if all my work and all that money was a waste, which it really isn't, I'm sure there's a way we can figure out where it's leaking. Um, but really, is there really, is it really worth getting stressed out over? It's a lesson learned. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to look on the positive side of it all. First, I just wanted to, yeah, throw my hands in the air, but we can't give up, keep trying, and yeah, maybe we'll just end up selling it, someone else can figure it out, but for now, we'll just keep going in faith that it's going to I'll work out and I'll keep finishing up the interior. There's just a few more things I want to do. Oh, and we'll, take, we'll take it to the shop to finish getting inspected. Oh, complete all those steps. And then hopefully, hopefully we can figure this leak thing out. So anyway, just some thoughts. I'm back out in the camper. This is quite a few weeks later from when I was hanging the previous lights. And even though we got them working, I'm just not really happy with it. Maybe I'm being too picky, but it just, to me, it looks sloppy having so many lights. I just wanted them around the bed, so I went and ordered another another pack. I'll have links below. I think they were only, they're sitting like $11. I figured, oh well. So I'm going to string these up now. Hopefully it won't be as big of a pain as the previous time. Then I'm going to have to go around and patch up the holes I made with the other stuff. I did get some extra paint and stuff. Oh, and right up here at this corner, I bought this at Hobby Lobby. I thought it's kind of cute. One thing I found that was small enough to fit there, kind of unique, that I wanted where we can just throw in our cell phones or any extra stuff we have if we're laying up here on bed. And I can also throw in the end of these lights. It's actually batteries powered by itself, and I like that too. Just for the fact, if we're not plugged in, um, I can still run the uh, these lights off of battery because these have to be run off of shore power. That's why I switched. Okay, so while I love this and everything, I'm telling you guys, it doesn't fit in here, but just the hair. So I think I'm just gonna screw this back piece off. It'll still look nice with just the wood. Okay, go ride bike. Okay, that looks really good, but I'm gonna have to put a few more screws in there. The lights are done! They look awesome, I like it so much better. And it ended right up here above that sign. Also, I went and got all the holes that I made before patched up, and once that dries, I'm going to paint. All right, so I got this basket at TJ Maxx, I believe, and I have it for the closet in the bathroom. It's going to be awesome because we can put our dirty clothes in here, and then this will serve as sort of like a shelf for other things as well. I'll show you how it fits. So here we are in the bathroom. If you open it up, boom, right there it is. Put our clothes in here. And then you can use this for a shelf and still probably hang some of Xander's clothes here and then our clothes on this side. I am leaning in the front cab here. Back there is the camper. This is the back of the dinette. Now when we bought this, there was like a little rack hanging on there. I wasn't sure if I'd use it again, 
not real crazy over this pine look but hey it's sturdy it's great I don't feel like redoing it and I just put some velcro on the back and I'm just gonna stick it on say so that looks pretty good right there it is behind the front driver's seat now we can put maps and stuff in there use up a little bit of space so I just went and finished lining the shelves right here at the corner with this gray shelf liner I'm not sure if I care for it. it sure doesn't stick very well but I'm hoping if I maybe heat it up with a hair dryer or let it get really hot in here that it'll start um, sticking a little bit better so I have each shelf lined they look a little buckled yet I'm hoping that I can heat them up and lay them flat I like that a lot better than the white kind of just gives something to layer things on to without always scraping the paint so I think it looks nicer too This thing's a pain to get up, tell you what. So after thinking about it, I know that we initially built this cabinet right here for shoes, but I'm like, that would make a good storage for something else. So what else can I do for shoes? So, Pinterest plus pallet boards. I'm gonna spray them with a clear finish as well. So let's get to doing this. Yeah, yeah that'll work great. Sweet I won't out. Be able to put my boots in there, but love this, guys. Now this is going to be for our shoes. Check it out. Come in here. Easily put your shoes in there. Up and out of the way. Couple pairs. We're good to go. So one thing that I am super sad about, but it's just something I have to accept. If any of you are watching this and getting ideas, do not, and I tell you, do not use the stuff that I use for the shower. I use that really thin, I don't know what it's called, PVC plastic something or other. I used it to line the shower walls. Look at the shower, it looks awful. There's shadow, so you don't see that quite as much. Uh, this wall isn't quite as bad, but it, yeah, it's still bad. It actually looks worse on camera than it does in real life because the camera really accents the shadows. And then I used it in here as well. This doesn't isn't quite as bad for some reason. I think it's because it's not against a wall, um, but it's still not good. Out here in the kitchen, you can see the buckle here. It's just a bad buckle. Like here's completely tight. So if the tight parts stay, I'll be happy. I didn't have anything here, but over here you really notice it when you come along the side. Uh, you can see the waves like here's a buckle there's a buckle and then it pulled in here some on my wallpaper that made me a little bit sad but there's definitely imperfections but we just have to deal with them i will say i'll be happy if it just stays like this it's not just horrid um the shower curtain i can pull it shut um and this isn't quite as noticeable because it's like a pattern on it so you don't it doesn't just pop out to you unless i say something to someone um, this right here, I have this all screwed on so it doesn't do anything, but on this side, it definitely buckled. I don't know if it showed up or not, but I have that little, um, tray there now. All in a day's work, I guess. That's one of the disappointing things about doing remodels like this, is you never know what's going to happen. You never know if your idea is stupid or brilliant. 
Um, so, so far things have been going fairly well, but that is one big failure. So <laughs> yeah, not a whole lot of fun. Um, I need to clean up my mess and I want to turn these lights off and see how my little um, string lights look. So let's turn the lights off. Ah, uh, look at my little lights, guys. Isn't that so awesome? Ah, I love it! So cool. So cool. This is so discouraging. I may or may not have cried a little bit. Yeah.